According to some estimates, the 1918 flu killed more people than World War I and II combined. Now there's a film officially documenting the faith in humanity right here in Montana, and it's making stops statewide with Crow Agency and Missoula next on the list in September. You'd have cases where you would go to a house and there might be a dead child in the house and the other members are there but they're too sick to do anything with the body. It's a film that sucks you into the flu that turned faces blue before a person died. A dramatic history, one the director says is often brushed over in classrooms. The documentary is called Blue Death, the 1918 Influenza in Montana. We chose six individual stories where Montana Montanans are telling how they tried to help each other survive. Like the recent COVID-19 pandemic, masks were worn and schools shut down. Public officials are asking teachers, well, hey, you're not working. We want you to volunteer as nurses. Healthcare workers were overseas serving in World War I. The film documents the life of a part Crow woman named Frances, a teacher who dies trying to nurse others back to health. I had Reno Charette, who is Crow and Northern Cheyenne. Reno is a historian, and so she helped create a context for Francis Garrigus' story. Epidemics take away the people that you love, and they take away your history and your language and your ceremonies because the important people that knew that information, had not had the opportunity to transfer it to a younger person. Via the film, family history is being preserved from a time similar to recent years, yet far advanced when it comes to vaccines versus shots of whiskey and wishing for the best. In Billings, Diane Parker, MTN News.